uh, Jess from Arrow Tarot. I am filming this like right after my basically vlog. This um is something I thought I could do monthly to kind of more so, like for for a few reasons, kind of like to look back um just to, to to be able to look back and see what decks and books that I pulled out and stuff um during the months. Also, specifically with the books, to get myself to read them, <laughs> because I think putting them into the app I was app I was talking about in the basically vlog, I think that will help. But I also think just filming this and like having it out there will be like, oh shit, you know, like I gotta I gotta read the book. I already said I was gonna read it, so I better read it, you know, and stuff like that. Deadlines. That, uh, that is a, a very good mo <laughs> way to motivate you um, when you are a procrastinator that also just um, literally has trouble when it comes to motivating to do things. Honestly, I'm just really not surprised. Like, if anyway, like, just something like this is just in the app, just an easy way to, um, uh, like a coping technique for like ADHD so <laughs> yeah I figured that d saying I'm gonna read it will make me more likely to read it um still haven't read that one book I was gonna read but at the same time I did say it was annoying me so yeah so I thought for this one which I'm actually not by my shelf because I've not moved my furniture over and like I said I'm filming right afterwards but this is, I thought almost like I could call this segment, like, Des's Shelf. Um, since I put the books on my shelf when I have them picked out. I also keep my books on a shelf. Although it's funny because the books I'm going to read, I actually put them on a different shelf. But, you know, that's okay. I don't want it to be shelves. Um, I'm just going to have it be shelf. Um, <laughs> I have no idea entirely what I'm going on about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising there then. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. So during this part, I figured I would talk about decks that are getting putting getting put on the shelf, um, decks that are getting taken off the shelf because I just wasn't read when, reading with them. Um, maybe I might say what decks I read the, read with the most. That was supposed to be more so for like the vlog videos. Um, but if anything, if I I could, I could always kind of just do it in both, I guess. Um, I usually forget to say what decks I used actually the most lately anyway in the basically vlogs anyway, so. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> this time, there's a lot. Um, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I got eight decks just for this month, so just that made it harder to actually pick out like I used to limit myself and I'm trying not to limit myself by number instead I'm lim limiting myself by shelf space last month I pulled out pretty much almost all of my decks just so I could pick from them especially since I was doing three tags at the same time three tarot challenges on tumblr um so I already knew I was going to be reading a bunch so I was like fuck it I'm gonna pull out all my decks I've been limiting myself for, limiting myself for so long maybe that's one of the reasons I'm not reading is doing my daily draws and just not wanting to read as much so I'm just gonna pull out all of them and this time I put most of those away but it is still a lot of decks um so obviously this first video <laughs> where all the decks get put on not some getting put on and taken off um this one's gonna be probably the longest one out of these <laughs> um because yeah I know some of the decks I'm not gonna like pull out and show them just because there are a lot um so yeah, like for instance, the Vertigo Tarot, I have mentioned this in the birthday video, and also in the basically vlog video that I just filmed, so I'm not going to like show it off, although it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, this is one that obviously I got last month, and might end up being one of the ones that stay on the shelf. For instance, the Justice League Tarot, which I always talk about, so I won't open it, but I love it, is like literally, this is the deck that is always, always on my shelf. Always. Like... I, put, I take it with me, like, everywhere, like, this is my deck, you know, <laughs> this is my soul deck. This one, uh, when I got it, I was like, this might be another soul deck, and still might be coming. I mean, I got a few other decks, like the Crow Tarot, so I was like, let me read those, um, 
but like this is this is like another one <laughs> so this might be a deck that I just kind of keep on the shelf forever too um but yeah um so yeah this this is always on the shelf so this one won't get talked about just kind of talked about right now um this one will probably always stay on the shelf so this one won't really get talked about right now I feel like there's gonna be some decks I I used to have like kind of like a top five slash top ten um and then like that kind of kept changing and a lot of my old favorites don't really make their way back out so right now it's a bunch of new decks with some old ones I'm gonna try pulling out the old ones and replace them with some new ones like and try to actually do that um which was why I was doing it with the number be like okay so like five have to be ones that you switch out five of them you can keep on the shelf kind of thing um yeah, so I'm going to try to do it like that, but I'm not really limiting them by number. I'm limiting it by my shelf space. <laughs> so, yeah. Which is, like, a shelf and half of a top one in case, like, the wrap bags can't all fit. Right, Allie? Are you going to rest? Oh, he's going to rest. He's so cute. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, this one I just talked about, this is the Spirit Halloween Tarot deck. I haven't read with it yet, so, Avi, I'm gonna have that out for this month, see how it reads. Um, the New Horizon Tarot, um, I did read with this one quite a bit when I got it earlier in the month. Um, yeah, like, literally this one and the, and the Mythic Tarot were the two that I was reading the most with in the beginning during the challenges. So I did read with it a bunch, and I did feel like maybe putting this away, but at the same time it still is a new deck. Only had it for a month now, so I figured I'd go ahead and keep it out. That one I'm not showing off. Um, this one, I felt like pulling out all three of my um, Nicoletta Ciccoli decks. This is the Ciccoli Oracle. Um, I just, the Ciccoli Tarot is one of my favorite decks. Um... It used to be in a top five, then with new decks coming, I would always try to keep it... I don't really write down... To, maybe I'll do, like, another top ten decks. Um, it's been, like, a while. Um, so maybe just kind of, like, to look back at, like, my old top decks that I've said in the past. Um, top five, top ten. I believe I... There was one... That was one of the topics for Ethne's 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. Um... If anything, I think, I know I've done at least maybe set it twice at top 5 or 10. So maybe I'll do it again and, like, look back and, like, compare them. Because I always think comparing, like, your, your tastes and your favorites in the past to now is always interesting. Um, but that one had always been in it, and I've been, I've been neglecting you. <laughs> so I'm pulling it back out. Um, so this is the Oracle, which I love. is so, so nice. <laughs> So I pulled this one out as well, um, along with the tarot and also the mini tarot. So there's that. Um, the tarot deck's right here. In my new bag. Don't nod it, Des. Don't nod it. Gotta be careful when you're opening in the rooms. Okay, there's the tarot, which I'm putting in my... This one because it's got red berries on it and there's red berries on the back. But this deck, it's such a nice read. I just wasn't feeling it for a while. Um, I just was feeling other decks a lot more, like a lot of newer ones. Um, a lot more, but now this one's like, it's time to come back. And it's like, let's freaking do it because I loved reading with this deck. It's such a great read. I love it. <laughs> I know I saw, I saw a few people um, that were saying this is a great Halloween deck, and even my brother was like, what? That's a good deck for Halloween? Because it's creepy? Like, nah, this is like, all the time. Probably not Halloween, actually, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's just gorgeous. So I pulled that one back out. And that one's getting put on the shelf. Do, 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 do. See, also me having to tie the wraps, um, why well, I won't pull them all out. Um, I just showed off the Crow Tarot, um, which is a new deck that came out, um, the Kickstarter release, um, and I've been loving that one, so, and I got it only a week ago, so, of course, that one's staying, 
I um, also have it in a bag like that. Um, Starman Tarot is another one that's new, so that one is also Avi staying. Since I've only had that one for like a week and a half. Um, same with the Mystic Fairy. Same with, where are my other new ones? Oh no, I'll get to them. <laughs> um, oh, same with the Kawaii Tarot. I have no idea why I got all the way over there. Like, I just showed all those ones off in the last video, so I'm not showing them off again. <laughs> um, then some of the ones that I, Mythic Tarot was already on my shelf, so that one is staying to be read with the Mythic Tarot, and then if my, um, Greek Mythology deck comes this, this month, it says it'll take two to three weeks to ship, although it could always take sooner, I don't really know, she says she tries to get it out as soon as she can, um, that deck I'm really looking forward to, Avi, that one's already bought, that will be on my shelf when it gets here, and I will be reading the Oracle deck with the Mythic Tarot, which this is technically kind of on my shelf, I'm just keeping it in the altar, Greek Mythology Tarot will also be in the altar, but basically on the shelf, as in I'll be able to read with it, um, <laughs> um, but the Oracle will be there as well, um, of course I always have to drop something, always gotta drop something, um, I had re-pulled, pulled out the Prisma Visions Tarot, which has always been a favorite of mine, um, out last month, and I'm keeping it out, so I've got the second edition, which is my Benny Boo, <laughs> as I call him, because I like to nickname my dicks. <laughs> um, him especially, I always call him by name. And we have the fourth edition, which is literally the same thing, just a different extra card. It reads differently, though. This one is, like, this one's, like, that really close, nice best friend. And this one is that friend that's also kind of a pessimist, and so I named him Marvin. <laughs> so, um, I had recently, uh, rewatched uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so I'm like, hey, this deck's like Marvin. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I have not actually really used much of the Light Visions tarot, so I pulled, I'm pulling that one out to read with them as well, which is the same kind of I think there's like two cards that are different, at least one, I know the one's different, um, but the, uh, colors aren't, it's not color, it's, um, it's not white and black, it's like a, uh, I cannot think of the colors right now, <laughs> um, yeah, there's that one, so all three of those, I just dropped a few decks, so let me pick them up, ah, um, this one, oh, it's a good thing the cards didn't come out because the box opened. <laughs> this one, let me pull a couple cards. Um, I had it pulled out for last month, but I really only used it once, and I feel like to can keep using it. So I'm pulling out the, uh, Clow cards, which is from, uh, Card Captors, which that's the, um, American name for the TV show, which... Yes, the, these are the actual cards that they sold in the store. Um, I've had this since Card Captors was on sh on the TV show. <laughs> like literally, like this. I loved Card Captors so much. Like I've always considered it to be my favorite anime because, like, it was like the anime for me. It was like one of my favorite shows as a kid. Um, obviously, Batman the Animated Series is, like, the top one forever. My favorite show ever because I love Batman the Animated Series. Um, but this is, like, my, one of my favorite shows. Like, my favorite anime, obviously. And so, of course, I had the toys. I'd go to Taco Bell so I could get, like, the, the Taco Bell toys they had with the, with the, um, kids meal. And then, of course, I had the cards and I had the wand. I didn't get, um, I never got the, um, um, the other ones, the, um, Sakura cards, or as they pronounced it in the American version, Sakura, <laughs> which is kind of weird, uh, I never got the Sakura cards, um, but I did have the original ones they sold here in America, uh, cloud cards, so, these are old, 
Actually, the wood card's kind of bent. I know, um, I think it's the freeze, if I remember correctly the name of it. Yeah, here's the wood card. Like, I bent this, like, so long ago. I was always, I was so sad as a kid when I bent the card. <laughs> Um, it doesn't seem as bent now, probably, because it just always has cards on it now, but, like, I used to go around the house and be, like, like, repeat the, repeat, um, you know, um, oh, crap, I used to have it memorized, I used to have both of them memorized for, for bringing, you know, um, Key of Cloud, um, Power of Magic, Power of Light, Surrender the Wand, the Force, Ignite, Release, was, like, the incantation for, like, the wand to, like, will have it from like the the key to the actual wand and then I used to remember um for capturing the cards and I would go around the house like capturing them and stuff like it's great <laughs> um but I'm pulling those back out because you can read them actually um as uh there actually is a divination system with them which is actually the divination system I use for playing cards because each cloud card is actually associated with a playing card and I don't like your typical cardomancy style reading with playing cards so I read it how you would read the cloud cards <laughs> so yay <laughs> um I don't know why but I feel like pulling out like floral decks so I'm pulling out the Ophidia Rosa um and the um the uh, Botanica Oracle, and then also my Botanical Inspirations. <laughs> so I'm pulling those out for the month. Um, it's been a while, it's been a while. For the Ophidia Rosa and the Pythia Botanica Tarot, so. Um, I don't really read much with the Wild and Own, um, but right now I am feeling it, like, a lot. Camera died. <laughs> I think I was in the middle of saying that the deck's going right now. Um, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's what I was saying. I took, like, a slight break. Um, I got in the game. I farmed a pretty top. Um, I also farmed and made some nuggets to sell in the game. And then I also did my uh, discussion post for my one class that was still due. So... <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, the Wild and Known is like, just, I feel like I need to read with this one. And I've always, um, kind of preferred, like, I've not really read with that one. I've read a little bit more with the, the Wild and Known Animal Spirit. Um, <laughs> so I figured, well, I'm pulling out the Wild and Known, might as well go ahead and pull out the, uh, Oracle deck. <laughs> so I pulled out, um, I'm pulling out that one as well to go on the shelf. Um, I... Another Oracle deck I'm pulling out is the Angelarium, which that one was already on the shelf. I just, I love this Oracle. It's a really good one. Um, so that one is on. Let me move these down so all my stuff doesn't fall over. <laughs> Let me move these down as well. Um, Considerate Cat still on my shelf. It's kind of been on there since, like, I started doing, like, a shelf and since I got the deck because, like, so pretty like this artwork is so pretty like it's so gorgeous I have an unboxing of this like when I got it it's just it's so pretty <laughs> like it's a beautiful deck so there's that and I have the book that also goes with it which is great um then I have I I've not actually ever used this um I got this Earlier this year, uh, actually, I think it probably was more so at the end of December last year, I got it um, with Christmas money, and I've not really used it because I don't really see it as, like, an Oracle deck. This is, like, an affirmation deck, but it's the Universe Has Your Back deck. Um, and the only thing I really think of it is if, like, I'm doing a reading and then I could pull, like, another, like, little, you know, like, an affirmation, like, here you go, you know, kind of thing. But I'm thinking about, like having this out um and i might like pull like like do my daily like draw like spread thing um but then also like also maybe even draw this um should probably maybe write that down in my dailies for my app which is over there my phone's over there no <laughs> um but just maybe kind of also pull a card from this deck to kind of like help me out um you know since like i'm trying to like I don't know, not really get organized, I just, I don't know, like, just get better at life, um, <laughs> um, but, 
yeah, so I got I got this. But I'll just see if I could uh, pull a card from this as well and see how that goes. Um, this is a deck I did not think um, I would be pulling out. I've never used this deck. Um, basically, I got it and the cardstock... Oh, I hate the cardstock so much. Um, I put backs on them. Um, because they were so flimsy, and at least that makes the back not feel gross, which just, it bent the deck. <laughs> like, this deck is bent. <laughs> but, that's okay. But, like, for some reason right now, I feel like reading with it, um, so we'll see. I still hate the cardstock. It's the Line Strider. Um, I just, it feels so gross, the cardstock. I hate it so much. <laughs> um, yeah, the artwork is beautiful, so... I might read with that. If anything, it's at least going on the shelf. Because everything on the shelf, will I get through it all and read with every single deck? No, but it's there. <laughs> so these are the ones where it's like, I can pull from them. Makes it a little bit easier when you've got... How many decks I have? 64 tarot decks. Three of them are mini um, versions of other decks I have. And then 15 oracle decks. So, I, I, I have written down on my white, white, white erase board thingy McThinger calendar. Um, this one is the Triomphe de la Luna. I should not be pulling out and showing all the cards <laughs> because it will take forever. Um, this is the Triomphe de la Luna. Um, don't know if I'll really read with it, but if I have time when it comes to, like, if I can get myself to read some books, I might pull out and work a little bit more on um, Tom Benjamin's book, which I started to. I need to work on it more. I'm like mostly done with lesson one and then like I just, yeah. App, I need your support. <laughs> like gamify my life <laughs> because games make everything easier. Um, this one is... I think this one's the Arthurian, could have changed the back of it. Yeah, um, pulling out Legend of the Arthurian Tarot. Um, that one was already out. I think I did maybe two or three days, um, with this deck for at least one of the tags. Um, as I had said in the, in the, uh, monthly vlog, um, we've been watching, um, a lot of Merlin, me and my brother lately, so like pulling that out. That's like that's why the one deck I wanted to get, and then use the rest of the money to save up for Spyro was going to be um, the Camelot Oracle. But then like the Greek mythology tarot came back, and I'm like, I'm old Duncan. <laughs> Stuck on Etsy. There's only three copies. I gotta get one of them. <laughs> so I did. Um, this one. I feel like it's about time I pull this one out. Um, this was the second deck I ever got. was the Shadowscapes. The Shadowscapes, to me, I really only ever feel like using it um, during more of the wintry times. Like, when the weather starts getting cold is when Shadowscape comes out. <laughs> like, I got it actually for Christmas. So when I stopped using it, I was like, aww. And then, like, that following winter, like, last winter, I was like, You know, um, so it just seems to be like a cold weather kind of deck, and it is starting to get colder. It's not winter yet, it's just cold fall, but, um, I can already kind of feel like, uh, using it, so, we will see. And this was the bag that I used to use for the, uh, Legend the Arthurian Tarot, but I moved that one over to that one, moved, because that one was the Chicoli Tarot, Move the Chicoli Tarot to the new wrap I made, move that one to that one, and then I put the Shadowscapes in this one, and it just makes sense. <laughs> I know I need to make a, a few more wraps. I still have like three decks, I think, without wraps. Of course, if they're in like hard boxes, I don't make wraps for them, but yeah. So, of course, I've got my. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna pull anything out. Dad, stop pulling stuff out and showing them because, like, literally, <laughs> there's so many. Um, the uh, Dragon Age Inquisition Tarot. Um, I'm pulling this one out. Um, it was, it's been kind of out. Um, I only did like one 
reading with it last month. Um, but I want to journal on it. I just, it's hard for me to sit down and journal. Hey, the app can help me though. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, my life will be that app. <laughs> um, this is an Oracle deck that I have an unboxing of it. I've actually not used it, um, like at all. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, I think it's because I wasn't really using Oracle decks. Um, I've since started to now. I just obviously usually, I mean, I only have 15 Oracle decks and I have like freaking 64 tarot decks. So as you can see, I like tarot decks. Um, but yeah, so I usually was just kind of revolving around and just using like probably like three or four of the Oracle decks. So I decided to go ahead and pull out um, With Your Shield or On It. Which I always have to be gentle with the cards because this is not card stock. <laughs> um, it's a really pretty deck, so I will see if I can maybe use that this month. Or at least keep it on the shelf, we'll see. Um, this is two Oracle decks, which... When was that? I don't think that was last month, I think that was in September. I decided to combine two decks that I never used and realized they read really well together. So this is like my Super Oracle. Um... And it is the Earth Magic Oracle, and then the, um, I think it's called Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides, I believe is the full name of it. Um, same person, which is, is his name Stephen Farmer? I'm very bad at remembering things, I think that's what it's called. Um, I've had these decks for, like, longer, like, before I even, like, was in, I got these decks probably around the time they came out. <laughs> Um, and it was before I was into, like, tarot and oracle decks. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I got them, like, freaking, like, middle school des. <laughs> um, but I did actually use them, um, together. And the way I do it is I separate them and shuffle them. And one goes on the bottom, the other one goes on the top. And what else is in this bag that I put them both in? Boom, a die. So... If it's, like, an odd number, it's the top. Like, draw a card from the top. If it's an even number, you draw the card from the bottom. So that way I'm able to get everything mixed up without it, like... Like, literally, I would be able to tell from the side because I've etched this in two colors of paint. Yes, actual paint. <laughs> um, well, this is not edged, so I would be able to tell. Um, also, this deck sometimes sticks a little bit together because of the paint, but you just gotta shuffle it a little bit and then it gets all better, but... Yeah, if anything, I might try using them separately as well. Um, don't drop the die. I dropped the die. Where'd it go? <laughs> Why am I such a klutz? I heard it fall. Ah, it went all the way back there. Ah. I got it. <laughs> um, I have more D20, so I, I made it a D20. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't really have anyone to play Magic the Gathering with, which is why I haven't played it in, like, years, but... So, I D20s, because I was playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> That's actually uh, one that I got from uh, getting a Magic the Gathering deck. Um, so, this one, I was using it... I actually... This is the only deck that I've actually completely journaled every single card. Um, which I'm very proud of myself for, it, and my neck's gonna freaking be stiff again. Um... But I have actually journaled entirely about this one, which I am proud of. Um, <laughs> and it got, after I did that, like, I didn't use it for a few months. Um, it's been taking a break. And I'm pulling it back. It's the Yonasa Yaus uh, tarot. So, got pulled that one back. A freaking gorgeous deck. <laughs> I love it. And it's the uh, third edition. This one um, is a playing card deck. And like I said before, I read playing card decks uh, like um, you would read the Clow. And this playing card deck um, was a part of like a, a limited edition Kickstarter. And then I got one of the ones they still had left over on Etsy. Um, and this is the Phantom of the Opera playing cards. So the face cards are characters from the novel. Like here's the Persian, um, Meg, the King of... Hearts is, of course, uh, the Phantom. Here's a uh, Christine. But, um, these playing cards are so freaking gorgeous and they're gilded. Ugh. Like, and it wasn't too much either. Um, 
And then you get like two Jokers. I don't read with Jokers, but like you get two Jokers of um, Eric. So him dressed as the Red Death and then him unmasked. And then you also get these beautiful ones. Like, this deck is just freaking gorgeous, so. It's my favorite playing card deck. <laughs> and then, of course, like, the wrap is in. It, it's got the Eiffel Tower on it. <laughs> Which, that's also the, the fabric I used for the bag for the, um, Geronti della Luna. Which, I have the Italian edition. But I consider it okay to keep it in the Eiffel Tower uh, Paris bag because um, it is a, a Terre de Marseille bag. <laughs> so, next we have the, um, I, I have an unboxing of this. This is the um, Earthly Souls and Spirits. Um, this is an Oracle deck that I've been kind of keeping out, like, because it's, I really like this one. Um, also, I just love the bag I put it in. <laughs> I just love this fabric, which is like, that's the one I have the Jonas Yeltsin, and it's like, these bags, I just love this fabric, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, so this one will, of course, be staying out. Um, I have the mini of the Nicoletta Tripoli Tarot. Oh my god, two more left, two more! <laughs> um, this is the Steampunk Tarot, the Barbara Moore one. Um, I did not, I do have another Steampunk Tarot deck, I'm not pulling that one out. Um, I haven't really used this one much in, like, so long. This was the third deck I ever got. This is the one that I basically learned from. Um, I had this one, the Shadowscapes and Justice League were like the three I was using to learn. Justice League doesn't come with a book. Um, Shadowscapes, it wasn't easy to learn. Some of the cards I learned specifically from that one, but most of them I learned it from, um, the Steampunk Tarot. Um, and I just, I haven't been using it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull it out. It's gonna sit on my shelf. <laughs> and then this one is, um, this one should be the Numinous Tarot, which I also have an unboxing of, which is, like, great. <laughs> so this one will also be staying on my shelf. I know my brother also has this deck, and he's he's been, he's told me, like, two or three times now. He's like, man, I would I really want to read with it, but, like, the court cards, like how they mess you up, they mess me up, too. So he's still just been using his one. But, yes, those are the decks. And this has already gone on really long. Like I said, this is going to be probably the longest <laughs> of this just because there's so many decks going on. Um, none coming off, though. I mean, they all did, but, like, they're they're in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the next part of this, um, I figured just kind of talking about books would just be a short video. I thought maybe I could just put them together. Especially since the tarot in the future won't be that long. <laughs> um... Yes, yeah, so the next part is books. Um, I have quite a few books I want to read, and I know that I'm not going to get through all of them. So, I'm going to say the ones that I am making, like, I, I'm not, like, making myself, but, like, these are the ones, like, the goal is to read these ones. <laughs> like, they are going to be the ones that go on the app. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they actually have a, I did notice that there was a check mark system, so I could even have, like, chapter one, and then I could just go, and then maybe it could be like, Ta -da. <gasps> oh, the sound effects. <laughs> um, the two specifically that I want to get through this month, so I want to finish reading the Mythic Tarot uh, guidebook, which I did leave off on page 33, so I'm at least on 33, and also I have two bookmarks that I really love, so that also kind of makes me motivated to like, bookmark starting to smell like smoke. That, that was the bad thing, like, the book kind of smells like smoke the pages. Um, doesn't really bother me, though. Um, but I love this bookmark. Um, it's just freaking gorgeous. Um, this one was from, uh, A Sunny Disposition on Etsy. And I actually got this bookmark because it took so long for my pillows to come, because, um, there's just holiday and stuff going on, and it's, it just, it got postponed on the actual, um, because they, uh, she ran out, um, well, <laughs> when I had ordered it, so had to wait for it to, like, come in so she could ship it to me, and, like, I really didn't care, but, like, it was so nice that I got a little bookmark, and I love this bookmark, it's, like, my favorite bookmark, <laughs> um, so I have that bookmark, and then I'm allowing myself to kind of try to read two books at the same time, because then I have another bookmark that I really like, <laughs> Also, it's just easy for me to multitask anyway, and the books are two completely different books. 
And then this one I got from, I want to say it's Vinny Cha? It, it's Vinny something. I can put the link in the description if I remember. Um, but this is, I, I love their art too. <laughs> This is uh, a bookmark of Dorian, who's also from Dragon Age Inquisition. He's actually on the other one as well, but like, yes. Also, it's kind of very fitting to have a bookmark of him in this book, um, because this book is um, Queer Magic, um, LGBT+, plus Spirituality, and Culture from Around the World by... I'm gonna butcher um, this... Uh, Tom Tomes? Like... It looks like Thomas, but there's no H, and there's an accent mark over the A, and I completely forgot to look up how to pronounce it, because <laughs> I can't remember how to do anything. I know how to pronounce the E over, an accent mark over the E just fine, because that's literally in my name. <laughs> um, but the A, I can't exactly remember, but, um, and then it's, a uh, Prower is the last name. But I have already read some of this. I read, um... The bit of course on Greek mythology and like let me just say <laughs> I was so happy to see because I already knew Apollo was gonna be in it I mean like Avi um, but Athena is also in this and it's because she can be seen as asexual or gender neutral and I was like not only are you mentioning my girl Athena but you're a mention in asexuality too like I'm not the only one that sees, like, on Tumblr, like, everyone always has a thing where it's like, Artemis is like our god for, like, um, asexuality, and I'm like, I don't know, like, the lesbians also claim her, <laughs> like, and then also I think some people that are bi kind of claim her too, just because, like, there is a story where she falls in love with a guy, um, but, yeah, <laughs> So I always think of Athena, who like liter which I always see as kind of like Arrowace because she literally shows no interest at all, like ever. And like the book says, like she does come off like uh, gender neutral as well. And just I was just so happy. And no, Artemis is not in the book, <laughs> but Athena actually is, and I just was so happy. I also already read the whole chapter. Um, I don't know what chapter number that is, but I did read, oh, chapter 10. I already read chapter 10 as well. I read the whole chapter out loud to my Nana. Um, and then I read the first part of, where is it? Ah, Native North America. Yeah, I read the first part of that one. Not the full cultural part, but I did read a few pages um, to my papa, who doesn't believe in that stuff, but, like, it's kind of funny because he is so, like, for Native Americans. Like, I mean, he actually does donate, because um, it's just a fam family kind of thing with his grandma and stuff. Um, uh, supposed to be a uh, full Native American. I know the DNA test wouldn't really have shown um any really coming from his grandma according to how the test says it works so who knows <laughs> um although they actually do have pictures of her though so yeah um and he also doesn't look entirely white either but he he has that whole thing so i always think it's funny because it's like well i mean if you don't believe in people that are like um, non-binary trans, like, what you thinking about the Native Americans? <laughs> like, because literally there's multiple tribes that, you know, uh, believe in, uh, people that are two-spirit, like, that's literally their thing, um, which it actually talks about, um, the actual Pacific names for, um, Pacific tribes as well, um, and even why collectively it goes by two-spirit, which I thought was very interesting. Um, but yeah, this book's just really interesting, so, these two are the ones where it's like, Des, read them. <laughs> like, it's your job, these are the ones you have to read. And then I picked out a few that are kind of like, um, if I can get through these, um, then I will also read them as well. Um, I 
don't really care as much for more of your traditional, like, I don't know, like, whenever you go to the bookstore, like, generally when you see stuff on magic and witchcraft, it's pretty much all Wiccan or green witchcraft, which I don't really have much of an interest in. Um, and they didn't really have, the only book, actually, that I had, um, on their website, like, bookmarked that they had was actually Queer Magic. All the other ones they didn't have in the store, but I wanted to pick up another book, so I picked up this one on alchemy. So it's The Path to Alchemy, um, by Mark Stavish. So I thought that would be very interesting to read. Um, so that one's kind of like a bonus, if I can get through it. Um... Also, a bonus would be to try to get through these four books, <laughs> um, since these are tarot guidebooks as well. So, a, um, a Keeper of Words, for which is the Legend of the Arthurian Tarot book. Um, the Numinous Tarot, which I've read part of. I'd like to finish actually reading the whole thing. Um, the Mystic Fairy Tarot guidebook, and then also the Starman Tarot. But these aren't, you have to read them. Um, they're just kind of like, if I can get through... Those two, I can pick a book from this stash. And that's kind of like what I was thinking that the book section would go. <sighs> like with the decks, it will be, the decks for these will be decks coming, going off the shelf and coming onto the shelf while books. Um, I will talk about the books that I did get through. So like hopefully next month I can be like, hey, I read the books. I thought they were great, you know. Um, if the books are, like, really good, and I don't know, I think it'd be cool to do, like, book reviews. I just have to take a bunch of notes, because, literally, <laughs> I'm not gonna remember what to, I, I can't usually always remember things, it's much easier, um, if someone's like, this, and I'm like, oh, I read this, you know, um, I don't have exactly the best memory, obvi, <laughs> um, but yeah, I was thinking about having it be where I talk about the books that I did read, um, so they get to come off that shelf and go to my just straight up bookshelf because I read them. I'll talk about them. Um, I will also kind of bring forth, then I'll, you know, be like, oh, these are the two new books that I'm going to read or three books. Because if I can get to more than two books, I might up it for all I know. I don't know. <laughs> just going easy with two books. Um, and then I'll be like, these are the new two books. And then... I might be like, okay, and then to make sure that I don't get bored of nonfiction, here's a fiction book. Which this time, I'm not adding like a fiction book as like a helper side book to help with because there's a thing called fan fiction. <laughs> and I've been reading some fan fiction lately, so <laughs> uh, that will balance it out just nicely. <laughs> you don't want to see how many tabs I have opened on my phone. Way too many. I'm surprised my phone doesn't just die when I open it up because holy macaroni and cheese surprise. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured that's how the book section will go. And like I said, this video is just really long because of all those tags. <laughs> but yeah, um, so the books for the shelf are these two and hopefully I can get through more. <laughs> we will see. Hopefully the app will help me. I'm literally going to write out, like, the chapters and be, like, have it be, like, a checkmark list. And maybe I'll have the deadline be, like, November 30th. And then I'll be, like, ooh, I'm getting closer to completing the goal. Because making it an actual game just makes it so much more um, motivating. Also, just doing this makes it more motivating. Because now I've said to the internet that I'm going to read this, so I better read it. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. This video has been way too long, but like I said, I'm really not surprised. Because of all these decks that I now need to put on my shelf. <laughs> I also need to organize my bottom shelf, too. But I do not have a dead due date on that, so I will do that later. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow or the day before, or the day after. And hopefully not procrastinate. If I procrastinate in the game, I lose health, so... I don't want my character to die. <laughs> don't know what happens if you lose health to zero. Do you unlevel? I don't know. Don't want to find out. Um, anyway, yeah, that's um the first for what's on my shelf. So what's what's on does a shelf for the month of November. Um anyway, so I'm Des from Arrow Tarot and I'm logging off, so bye!